Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 2. Let's play. Okay, so that's everybody taking care of. A new message at your private terminal. Oh, okay, let's check that out. Unread messages. You little liar. There's no new messages, you... you... you friggin' liar. <laughs> Wow, look, there's all kinds of stuff here. Okay, let's get probes and fuel and let's head out. Whoa, we're way out there. There's a local cluster and let's go to the Citadel. Let's bring the mic in for some for some reading. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, the colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Sidil Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Total orbit, the total length while open is 44.7 kilometers. Diameter while open is 12.8 kilometers. Population of 13.2 million, not including keepers. Gross weight is 7.11 me billion metric tons. Interesting that they would include the weight of the station. Citadel looks a lot different than it used to. And we've landed. Tech powers, rapid fire, weapons. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah. Oh man, I can't I can't wait to get in into the next set of shooting missions. Oh. Even the, even the very first one where you find more than soul is well, not it's not technically the first one, but the first one they suggest is is so awesome, so awesome. Can't wait. But I don't know. I kind of feel like the thing on the citadel is important. Hmm. Has been two years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cycle appearance. Uh, no, definitely one. go and have my level increased uh, a little bit I'll increase my incinerary ammo okay I'll increase his uh, Cerberus operative abilities and same with her everybody's got their okay yeah we're good to go Nice car. Okay, it looks Commander like we're starting. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. <laughs> Please oh. tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Oh, that click to show map won't go away. Have you been briefed? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Why the secrecy? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. 
You're sure? What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Okay, and you and Cerberus? What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What's the deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Uh, we'll take care of it. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. <laughs> she does have a pretty fun mission. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> Neat. Oh yeah, and here's the Hanner. This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slug. All of these the guys. Weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, <laughs> serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon <laughs> of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. Interesting little kind of insight there. That's yeah, that's that's it's kind of interesting sorry, too. Sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh, well, when you objected, I thought you humans are all racist. Humans are all can racist. You, no. Uh, uh, security seems pretty heavy. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. <laughs> Technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll nice. have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Um, can you fix it? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs, then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. 
Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should nice. head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. That's my plan. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my plan. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll let you go for now. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Oh, man. I'm, uh, I'm getting really tired. Welcome to Citadel News Den. Yeah, it's Emily Wong. Okay, I think I'm going to go directly to Anderson, if that's something I can do. Oh god, how can I do that? I've got to get there. I've got to get there. I've got to wrap this up. I'll, I'll hit all these stores on the way back on, on my next stream. Yes, yes, and I'll have to get the, the chef's food list, uh, the grocery list, rather, yeah. Okay, so there is kind of a bunch of side questy things here, which I will do, but... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do this one first. People this is a quick one. Your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. Yeah, I remember you. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Uh, you made me look bad. What? So you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard. You may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. Don't you disrespect the dead. Saving everyone only happens in bits. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. All of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard. First human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> yeah, take that. 
That was fun, but I'm gonna have to pause it there. If you like this video, then please comment, subscribe, like, and of course share this video on your favorite social network. And if you'd like to see any other games that I've played, you can check out my playlist to see my other Let's Plays. If you'd like to see me play live, follow me on Twitch and you'll get notified whenever I play. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game. Play Dead Inside. Oh man. Oh god! Oh god, run for your life! Holy shit! Holy fuck that! Oh my god, that really scared me! Holy shit, man.